Hi guys, it's Ali here, I uh, hope you're well. Today I just wanted to go over a common question that we get asked and it's kind of patients who are looking to replace a, a space or a missing tooth um, with, with an implant, an implant restoration. And it's how long, how long does that, that process take? Um, so this does vary depending on, on the case that, that you, you have. Um, if a tooth needs to come out because there's an infection there, a tooth is broken down, then what we typically do in that case is take the tooth out, we then wait six to eight weeks uh, and then we place the implant at that time. Now, if you already have the space there and the tooth's been gone a while, uh, if the bone is favourable and we've got enough bone, then we would normally place the implant immediately so you can just get started with that implant right away. Either way, depending whether you place it immediately or it's delayed, we would normally wait three to four months to allow the implant to bond to the bone, making it rock solid for what we're going to then put on top of it. After the implant has integrated, so after it's bonded to the bone, um, we can then begin the process of making your tooth, whether that be a crown, a bridge or a denture. Um, so this would happen three to four months after the implant is placed uh, and depending on the restoration that we need to use to restore the space, um, this can take anywhere from two weeks up to six weeks. Um, so from start to finish, getting the implant placed to getting your new tooth uh, in, in the mouth, uh, typically time frames are three to four months. If you have a space, if you are keen on finding out more about implants, then please do book in with uh, Kaylee, who's our smile advisor, uh, and she would be uh, more than happy to go over different options available uh, and can run through costs uh, of treatment and timescales and just to, to, to firm everything up. 